Hello coders, today we're going to be talking about the five must-have things for PHP developers. These are tools, pieces of software that every PHP developer needs to learn and understand and use. I use these things on a daily basis. So let's get started. The first one is the environment in which you're creating your application. So I use right now, I'm using Docker for creating my environments. I'm a freelance developer and therefore I have lots of Docker type machines or containers depending on the client's needs. However, if you don't know Docker, then I do highly recommend using something called XAMPP. And before I was into my Docker stuff, I was a highly power user of XAMPP. I loved XAMPP. X is basically means any particular operating system. A stands for Apache, so that's your web server. M stands for MySQL, so that's the database that it comes with. And of course, P is PHP, so XAMPP. And like I said, this can be used on any uh, operating system, any platform that you're on be it Linux, be it um, Windows, or be it Mac. So if you're not a Docker guy like I am, then do use XAMPP. And I was using that when I was a full-time developer uh, for many, many piece, uh, companies that I was working for, and it worked a treat. And it comes with uh, MySQL and Apache and, of course, PHP. You can configure all those within the application XAMPP itself. So it's fantastic. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the editor, the actual code editor that you're going to be using to write the PHP code. So I use at this present time of, of recording this, I use PHP Storm. Now that is a application written by JetBrains and it is a licensed application. So there is a cost associated to that. But of course there are other editors out there. Before I was using, um, before PHP Storm, I was using NetBeans and before that I was using Eclipse. Before that I was using other uh, editors. I was even using Notepad back in the early, early days. But you want to be using something that gives you enough tools, maybe some source control in there, maybe some ways of debugging your application too. Um, and NetBeans, PHP Storm, Eclipse, they all offer those kind of things. PHP Storm, however, I particularly find it very well written and extremely easy to use when creating, developing and debugging PHP applications. Once you have your code editor installed, once you have your environment created, you're going to need a way of managing your dependencies in your application. Your application may require libraries and frameworks. And for this, I recommend Composer. Composer is kind of the de facto, the standard way these days of managing dependencies. With Composer, you have a composer.lock file and a composer.json file. The JSON file will say exactly what is required in your application to run all of the dependencies and all of their dependencies as well. The log file is a snapshot, if you will, of all of the versions that is currently running in that application. So what you do is you do not uh, commit your log file to source control, you only commit the JSON file. Therefore, when you run an update, you are only getting the stuff that is required right now in your application. I'm going to be doing tutorials on Composer in the future. Don't worry too much about it. Just know that Composer is the way of installing dependencies in your application. Now, once you've got your application set up, once you're working and creating features within your application, it's time to do some debugging. And for this, I recommend X Debug. 
Xdebug is a library that you can install that will listen to the calls that are being made. And in your code editor, it can show you breakpoints and uh, watches and variables and all sorts of things as the PHP request is running, which means that you can put in line breaks in your code and you can discover all sorts of things about your application as it's running. And therefore, you can whittle down where the error is. Of course, once you've found a bug in your application, once you fix that bug, you're going to be wanting to write a test to ensure that that bug stays fixed. And for testing, whether it's a functional test, whether it's an acceptance test, whether it's a unit test or an integration test or what have you, I recommend using Codeception for testing PHP applications. Codeception is a fantastic testing framework that can be embedded very well and integrated into your PHP code editor. It works very well with PHP Storm and it allows you to run tests against your application. So an application could have hundreds, it could even have thousands of these little small tests just to make sure that the code is doing exactly as it should be. Um, and once you have a bug in your application, what you really should be doing is you should be fixing the bug and testing and making sure that that bug is not a, a problem down the line. It's kind of like having another developer behind you, just looking over your shoulder and ensuring that the code that you, you write is not going to infect the code that you've created perhaps a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago or wherever. So by having hundreds, thousands, or what have you, of unit tests, functional tests, acceptance tests, just gives you that sort of comfort, that reassurance that your application is running as stable as it possibly can do. And of course, with Codeception, you can wire that up to code coverage as well. So you can actually get some visual reporting back on what parts of the code hasn't been tested. What are the vulnerable parts of that code? And talking about documentation, I recommend using PHP Documenter or PHP Docs. It's a very easy way of creating documentation against PHP comments, some of which are automatically generated for you in your code editor. And it allows other developers to actually read the code and navigate documentation in a technical kind of way. It's very, very good to do that. There's all sorts of different types of documentation that you can use for things like APIs as well. One of which that springs to mind is Swagger. I've used that uh, frequently with um, documenting how APIs work, documenting the requests and the responses and all the parameters and so forth. So they're my top five PHP tools that I recommend everybody should use if you're a PHP developer. I also threw in some extra ones in there as well. But if you've got any more, if you've got any other suggestions, then do let me know. Put your thoughts down in the comments section below. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye.